Let's head west of there to the Pacific Northwest where an atmospheric river has been uh, setting up and unleashing some severe flooding as well as some road closures over in Washington State. Look at what happened over in LB Washington there and you can just see uh, just how some of the moisture caused some of the trees there to go down. By the way, yesterday was the 10th wettest day on record and it was the third wettest day over in February for the Seattle area. I mean, they got nearly three inches of rain. Now, there are still some flood watches in effect for the area until tomorrow, and this thing is likely going to be sticking around for a little bit longer here. So definitely want to make sure to not only have your umbrellas ready to go, uh, but also your raincoats as well. Now, here's the good news in terms of those of you in Seattle for today. It will not be as rainy today as it was yesterday. You will see a little bit of a break in the sky, but we cannot rule out the possibility of some on and off again rain showers. Future track and emotion there, you start to see some of those greens popping up and then disappearing. And then those of you in Portland, as well as Medford over in Oregon, will continue to see some on and off again rain showers. Some of these will be moderate at times. You see some of that yellow there popping up. The closer you are to the coastline over in Oregon, more likely that you will end up seeing some of these rain showers. Northern Idaho, also into Missoula, will end up seeing some of the rain showers. Now, because we are seeing some rain showers throughout the day, not only today, but also tomorrow as well, you got to remember we still have a lot of snow, especially in some of the Cascades and over in the Olympic area. So that is going to lead to the potential for either some avalanches or some flooding in some parts of the Pacific Northwest. So how much rain are we talking about through uh, the next couple of days? Well, it really is going to be dependent on where you are. We could see an additional one to two inches of not only some rain, but we could also see one to two inches of some snow. Higher elevations will likely end up seeing a few more inches of some snow. But bottom line, Stephen, we are really concerned about the potential for some flooding. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.